Tales of incredibly tall people can be found throughout history, which has inspired many works of fiction that range from Gulliver's Travels to the BFG. Well, in today's video, we are going to share with you 10 of the tallest people in history, whose heights have to be seen to be believed. Vikas Appal, known as Vicky Appal, was India's tallest man until his death in 2007. He lived in Rotak, Haryana, and is reported to have measured a towering 8 feet 2 inches, with hands that spanned 13 inches long. Unfortunately, Vika's height was never recorded by Guinness World Records because of their strict criteria, meaning no official record was ever achieved. Vikas made his acting debut in 2006 in the Bollywood movie Rang De Basanti. Sadly, a year later, Vikas died while having surgery to remove a brain tumor. Jinnat Ali held the title of being the tallest man in Bangladesh, measuring 8 feet 2 inches. He grew up in a small farming village with his parents and three other siblings. According to a family friend, Jinnat's abnormal growth started in childhood and meant that he had to eat at least a kilogram of food every single day to keep healthy. Eerily, like Vic Asapal, Jinnat had been suffering from a brain tumor for some time. In April 2020, he underwent surgery at the Chittagong Medical College Hospital, but due to complications, the procedure didn't go to plan. Jeanette was placed on a life support machine, but died soon after. Turkish-born Sultan Kosin currently holds the Guinness World Record for being the tallest man on Earth, making him the seventh person to hold the title. When he was younger, Sultan became a part-time farmer after his incredible height made it difficult for him to complete his education. Despite this, he takes advantage of his almost 8 foot 3 inch stature by helping his family change light bulbs and hang curtains, skills that many of us wish we could have. What other jobs could Sultan's impressive height come in handy for? Let us know in the comments section below. Edouard Beaupré was a Canadian circus performer who started as a sideshow giant, a strongman, and a wrestler. He was best known for his involvement at the Barnum & Bailey Circus. In a gruesome twist of fate, following his death, the circus had Edouard's 8 foot 3 inch body embalmed and placed in a glass case so that he could continue being an attraction. For some reason, however, the circus refused to pay and the body ended up in the University of Montreal. After a lengthy legal battle, the Beaupre family managed to get the body of their descendant cremated and put to rest in 1990. Up until 1963, Vino Milirini was the tallest man in the world. At the age of 21, he stood at 7 feet 4 inches, but in his late 30s, Vino had another growth spurt that caused him to grow to 8 feet 3 inches. In 1929, Vano's height didn't stop him from joining the V. Puri Heavy Artillery Regiment and the Finnish Defense Forces. In the 1930s, he traveled around Europe as a professional wrestler and circus performer. Speaking of incredible growth, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It will help our channel grow even bigger so that we can continue to improve and create more videos just like this one. Not only is our next entry one of the earliest recorded cases of a tall person, but is also regarded as the tallest female in history. Trin Chi Kiever was taken to carnivals by her parents so that she could make money from the observers willing to pay to see the unusual sight. She was already 6 feet 7 inches at the age of 9, which caught the attention of royals who wanted to see the 9-year-old girl taller than every man in Europe. Sadly, she died from cancer at the age of 17. She measured 8 feet 4 inches and had a shoe size of 14 inches long. Somehow, I don't think that the 17th century equivalent of Walmart would have carried her size. Ukrainian man Leonid Stepanovich Stadnik stood at 8 feet 5 inches tall. Stadnik's incredible growth began after he had brain surgery at the age of 13 which caused a pituitary gland tumor that produced huge amounts of the growth hormone. Much like Vikas Apal, his height claim was not officially recognized by Guinness World Records because he refused to be measured by their strict criteria. In 2015, at the age of 45, Leonid passed away from a brain hemorrhage. 
Do you think that Guinness World Records should have been more accommodating to Leonid and Vikas? Give this video a thumbs up if you think they should be officially recognized. John F. Carroll was born in 1932 and grew to almost 8 feet 8 inches before his death at the age of 37. His spectacular growth started when he was just 16 and never stopped until he died in 1969. Despite extensive treatments at the Mercy Hospital in Chicago, he suffered from severe spinal curvature and other ailments attributed to the condition. John's height was never measured during the last years of his life due to the increased deterioration of his health and the curvature of his spine, but many believe that he could have been close to 9 feet tall at the time of his death. John Rogan is the second tallest man in recorded history, standing at a startling 8 feet 9 inches, yet only weighing 92.5 kilograms. At the age of 13, John began growing very rapidly due to a diagnosis of gigantism. This condition led John to have extremely rigid joints, making it impossible for him to stand or perform any kind of physical labor. Despite this, John made a living from selling portraits and postcards at a train station, which allowed him to turn down offers of being a sideshow attraction at carnivals. So how did John get around with this immobilizing condition? Well, he would sit in a cart similar to a wheelchair and let goats pull it along. Robert Pershing Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant, was an American man who once held the title of being the tallest person in recorded history. He was born on February 22, 1918, in Alton, Illinois, and grew to the unbelievable height of 8 feet 11 inches by 22, the same age he sadly passed away. Just like many of the others we have mentioned in this video, Robert's immense size and his continued growth were a result of a malfunctioning pituitary gland. Unlike the others, however, Robert did not die as a result of his condition. The cause of his death is believed to have come from an infection he contracted after a faulty brace cut into his ankle. Robert's coffin measured 10 feet 9 inches and took 12 pallbearers and 8 assistants to carry him to his final resting place. And that concludes our list of the 10 tallest people in history. Hope you like this new style of videos, we'll also be doing more animations along the way. Is there anyone we left out? Let us know in the comments! Also, if you have an idea for another video you'd like to watch, let us know below! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. That way, you will never miss a future upload.